If you want to create videos with CapCut like Alex Hormozzi, you don't actually have to dress like him. But you should do these three things that he does if you want to create videos that go viral like his. Especially the last one. The first thing Alex uses in all the shorts is graphics. Sometimes a graphic of him pops up on the screen, sometimes it's a sticker emoji, and other times a different video takes up half the screen. Let's see how to do it as we recreate the open of this video. Actually, we're creating it and I'm going to put it there after. We'll drag the clip to the timeline, go ahead and make it 9 by 16 vertical for TikTok shorts and reels, then scale it up so it fills the frame. If you want to create videos with CapCut like Alex Hormozzi, you know. So I just said Alex Hormozzi, let's grab a picture of Alex Hormozzi's face that's already cut out and scale it down to something more appropriate and maybe angle a little bit. You could manually bring graphics onto the screen, but they have built-in animations that are so cool and make things so much faster. So we're just gonna use one of those animations. With this graphic highlighted in the timeline, we're gonna click on animation. We're gonna make sure in is checked. We can try these animations just by clicking on them. I kind of like that, shake three. You know it's applied because it's highlighted here and because when we play it back, we can see that he pops in. But Alex's graphics usually continue to move even after they come on screen. You could manually keyframe it and have it bounce around the screen or you could jump over here to effects and type in rebound and just drag rebound swing onto this guy. And now after it comes in, he's gonna keep floating around. And you can adjust it so it moves a little farther and the speed's a little more like that. Like Alex Hormozzi, you don't actually have to dress. I said dress like him around there. It'd be great if this graphic came off and another graphic came on. To do that, we're going to shorten this to here. Make sure it's highlighted. Click on animation and out so we can choose a way for this graphic to leave the screen. How about slide down? Let's just click on slide down and see how it looks. And it fell down pretty naturally, so I like that. Next, we want to add a graphic showing how Alex dresses. So, hey, how about this one? We could leave it here, but doesn't look great. We could position it down here, which would be fine, or we could cut him out, kind of like Alex does. So we're gonna click on video, select cut out, choose auto cut out, immediately cuts him out because it's just a still image and it was a great image to cut out because there wasn't a lot going on in the background. And now we could have Alex pop up on a screen. How do we do that? We could manually keyframe it, or we could click on him, choose animation, choose in, and choose slide up by clicking on it. And bam, he slid up. And so he's not just sitting there all static-like. We're gonna go over to effects and add rebound swing, and he looks like this. Like him, but you should do these three things that- A lot of times Alex has multiple graphics on the screen, so let's go ahead and add another simple one, a sticker. If we go into stickers and into fashion, and we're talking about dressing, so let's show a dude dressing, like how about this? We'll add that to the timeline, and we'll have that pop in around, maybe at the same time. Position it where we would kind of want them to end up, scale them, maybe rotate them a little bit, and just kind of to keep it fun put there. And then what do we do? We go back over to animation, and we choose an in for it. How about bounce in? We need these to leave the screen soon so we can bring in something else, maybe a video layer. So we're gonna click on this guy and choose a way for him to leave the screen by clicking out. We'll just choose spin out by clicking on it. And then for Alex, we're gonna choose a way for him to leave the screen. It doesn't have to match what Alex does. The idea is to have motion, something happening, something with your style. So we're gonna click on out over here. Let's choose one of the free ways to leave the screen. How about zoom out? And that looks, I think that's gonna be good. Actually have to dress like him, but you should do these three things that- And when I say these three things that Alex says, I'm talking about Alex again, so I'm gonna just pop up a video of Alex below. To do that, I'm going back into media. I'm gonna grab this video of Alex right here, choose a little piece of it. I found a piece of an Alex video that's not too busy, so it's not too distracting. I threw it on top of this track right here, and we'll just have it go to the end of the open. And we could just, have it pop on here by just dragging it down, scaling it up a little bit so it fills up maybe a little more of the screen like that. We could just leave it right here, which looks fine, but it'd be nicer to have it come on screen with some kind of animation. So we're gonna click on in and find something simple. Maybe, how about spin up? That looks fine, right? Spin up, boom, he spins up. I keep talking. You just repeat this process for any graphic or image you wanna take on or off the screen. Number two, Alex uses transitions in his videos like this and like this, and it's easy to create really fancy ones even if you don't know anything about 
graphics or After Effects. To add a transition, you just need two clips. To get from one to the next, you put a transition in between. Here's clip one, here's clip two. This is the space in between. We simply click on transitions and find something we like. This zoom shake is kind of cool. You click and drag it down here and looks pretty similar to something Alex uses in his videos. You can change the duration by dragging it over here so it's longer like this. And you can also adjust it with a slider here. There's a lot of really fun, fancy ones. Transitions don't make a cut, but they can enhance it. So don't go crazy. You might want to stick with simple ones like these. This one's called left. Easy way to add some je ne sais pas to your cuts. Number three, and most importantly, Alex uses captions in every single one of his shorts. His have a certain style. I'll show you how to do that. A huge percentage of short form content, including TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts are watched with no sounds. You have to add captions, and if you make them fun, it's more likely people are gonna stick around. First, we just click on text, then you select auto captions, and you hit create. Captions are automatically created, but they're obviously kind of small. The next thing you wanna do is click on captions so you can make sure everything was transcribed correctly. And then you want to break these all into smaller little chunks so that it's only a few words on screen at a time. If you wanna, just hit an enter. That might fit. Maybe an enter here. And do that for all the captions so only three to five words appear on screen at any time. Next, we want to choose a font. So let's go back to this first one and click on text and choose a font that looks good. The one that Alex probably uses is Monsterot Black. And notice that that one changed and so did all of these other ones. And the reason that one changed all of them is because Apply to All was checked. So let's go ahead and do something else to all of them and change the font size to make them more readable. How about there? Then I'm going to position them where I want most of them to go, maybe somewhere right in the middle of the screen here. And then we need to add a little bit of style to them. So first we're going to scroll down here to background and it immediately creates that. We're gonna scroll down here a little more and adjust the sides to make a little bit of a rounded rectangle. If I click off, I can see how round it is, not very round. Let's do a little more. 25, 26% looks pretty good. Next, we wanna change the background color by clicking on color and you can choose the color here like that, or you can just type in a value if you happen to know it, which is FADA44. That's about the color Alex has been using with most of his lately. You can also change the color of the text. Alex uses black a lot, so we're just gonna go black. And if we scroll through here, we can see that everything was changed. So far, everything we've done has changed all of the captions at once. When you scroll through, you see, oh, they're all changed. But if you wanna modify the captions individually to make it more interesting, you would click on one, uncheck apply to all, and then make changes to it. For example, let's say we want this line to be black while this one's white and then vice versa as I'm saying it. To do that, we would split this clip by clicking on it, hitting Command B on a Mac, Control B on a PC. So we have two separate clips that say the same thing. Click on the one we wanna modify, make sure this is unchecked. Then in this case, we want to have create videos be black and with cap cut be white. So over here, we highlight with cap cut, select the color and make it white. Then we go to the next one and do the opposite. So it looks like this. Create videos with cap cut. Highlighting one line at a time as you're saying it. And we can also change the position of these guys. So let's go ahead and click on this. And oh no, I didn't catch that Alex Hormozy wasn't spelled correctly. So I will just highlight that and type it here. Hormozy. And this one is also a little too low. It's blocking his head. I'd rather it was higher. Apply to all is not checked, so I just drag it up. And that one looks like that. For the next one, let's say I want it to be angled differently. So I just click this guy here and angle it and move it. The purpose of this is to keep people engaged. If everything's the same throughout the entire video, you're gonna lose people. For this one, let's go ahead and decrease the size a little bit. Again, apply to all is unchecked, so font size is down. Let's modify this guy by making everything capitalized here by highlighting all of those guys. Hit this double T, these three things. We also wanna change the color. It's still highlighted, so we're gonna click on color and choose a color that we think will stand out more. How about red? How's that look? Do these three things that he does if you wanna create videos that go viral. For this guy, we're gonna change just one word, viral. To do that, we select the caption. We select the word viral by double clicking on it. We select bold to make it stand out more. 
double T to make it all caps. Then we select the color to change it to something that stands out like red. Another thing you can do to make the text stand out a little more is remove the background for some of it. So click on this guy, scroll down to background and uncheck background and bam, we have something that is a little bit different. But without the background, it's a little bit boring. So I'm just gonna enhance a little bit by clicking on this guy and making it bold in all caps and maybe a little bigger. And now all that's left is to add some sound effects to see how this looks with all of the stuff we just did, including sound effects. Go rewatch the beginning of this video. You won't fully be able to create videos like Alex Hermosi until you watch this video right here, where I tell you precisely what to do to create shorts that go viral like Alex Hermosi. Go watch it right, right now.